Hi, I'm Jo Pratt and I'm here with Panasonic to cook some delicious recipes that are perfect for busy family lifestyles. They're quick and easy to do and I'm going to be doing them using the Panasonic Combination Microwave Oven. Now the first thing I need to prepare for this tomato and sweet paprika soup are some base vegetables and that's going to be some onion, carrot and celery. So these just need roughly chopping, no fine chopping needed here because the soup's going to be blended and then they're going to be cooked. Now this next stage you can do on a hob by heating up your oil and sautéing the vegetables but to save myself some extra time I'm actually going to cook these in my Panasonic combination microwave oven and to do that I just put the oil into a bowl, add the vegetables straight in. Now cooking them this way just means I've got that extra time to get on with anything else I need to do. I don't have to stand over the hob and keep on stirring. And then for the lovely sweet paprika flavour we need to add some at this stage so the flavour can cook with those vegetables and it really releases that lovely aroma. So about one teaspoon, there we go. Just give it a little stir to coat the vegetables in the oil. Cover it with some film and then just pierce the top just to let that air escape whilst it's cooking. So our vegetables are going to be nicely sweated away in that, um, in that oil and the smell of the paprika is amazing. I'm using fresh tomatoes for this. This is a brilliant recipe to get the children involved in eating some nice fresh healthy veg. And I'm just quartering these and taking out the sort of the core from the centre which is a bit tough and then it goes straight into the bowl. So these ones are already done while that was cooking so we've got all those lovely fresh tomatoes straight in and just to really push up that tomato flavour I've got some tomato puree, a really nice concentrated flavour of tomato and it will thicken the soup a little bit as well. So just a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree, a teaspoon of sugar and then some stock. So I've boiled the kettle just make some hot vegetable stock. If you haven't got veg stock, you could use chicken stock. Let's just give that a stir around. And then when you pour the stock on, that will just start to dissolve the tomato puree in there and mix everything up a little bit. And then you just want to cover this up. Again, it could be done on the hob, and then you just bring this to the simmer and let it cook. But I'm going to pop this back into the combination microwave oven and it's going to cook for 15 minutes then I can just walk away and let it do all the work for me. Now if I blended this straight away from when it's been cooking it's going to be too hot and it would all come out of the sides of the, the food processor or the liquidizer so so long as it cools down for about five or ten minutes it should be at that perfect temperature and then just ladle it in. Now you could add a pinch of chilli into here if you wanted to make it a little bit spicier and then just blend until smooth. There we go, and then just transfer this and then you can spin it into cups if you want to drink it out of a cup or a nice bowl and you can just tell this is made using fresh ingredients and then of course you can serve it just as it is but for a nice little garnish I'm going to spoon on some creme fraiche and dollop some on the top and then let's get some Herb garnish. Now if I was giving this to the kids, the first thing they'd do was take this off, but this one's for me. So I'm going to make mine look super pretty. A little bit of basil on top. Quick and easy to do. And I think you'll agree, it looks really, really tasty. So there you have a really lovely tomato and smoked paprika soup.